What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Random. And in today's video, I'm gonna be having a serious discussion with you guys. And it all starts with one question. And that is, is the Mercury Marauder a future classic? Now, I remember back in the day, these cars used to hover around the $5,000 mark with some of the best examples running right around 6,500 bucks. But recently through the years, Prices for these cars have shot through the roof. With prime examples now approaching the $20,000 mark, which technically puts this right around the 90s Impala SS and Buick Grand National territory. So in today's video, we're going to dig deep into what exactly makes these cars so special. And I want to have an open, honest discussion with you guys. Do you guys think this car deserves the title of Future Classic? So... If you're the person that's thinking about paying over 20k for one of these, what exactly does that $20,000 get you? Well, you get a 4.6 liter double overhead cam V8 straight off the 03 Mach 1, which essentially used a non-supercharged, slightly detuned engine also found in the same year Terminator Cobra. Fun fact, the original Marauder concept debuted in SEMA back in 1998 that version of the marauder featured a blown 4.6 liter v8 that made 335 horsepower that 302 horsepower was enough to give this car a 0 to 60 time of 7.5 seconds you know what else has a 0 to 60 faster than 7.5 seconds that doesn't cost twenty thousand dollars this can shifted crown victoria behind me Test number one, here we go. Sixty. You know what else has a mid seven second zero to 60 time? This 1996 LT1 powered Chevy Caprice. But yet this car isn't considered a future classic. Okay, so maybe it's the gearing that has a role to play with a slow 0 to 60 times. What about the quarter mile, you might be asking? Well, with a quarter mile time of 15.5 seconds, that puts it right on par with a basic bolt-on Crown Victoria. You see, the more you break it down, the more you stop and sit to think about it. What is it that is truly putting this car up as contender for a future classic? Well, for one, only 11,000 Marauders were made compared to 1.5 million, yes, that's 1.5 million Crown Vicks made since 1992. Oh, besides a low production count, could looks be the cause of the skyrocketing prices for these cars? I mean, surely, just take a look at a DeLorean. It's slow as all hell and has zero performance. But yet they sell over 20 grand all day of the week. But if I'm going to keep it real with you guys, there's definitely cooler looking Panther cars out there besides the Marauder. With the rear end and transmission along with floor shifter from a Crown Victoria LX Sport and with a suspension of a Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, the Mercury Marauder embodies the best the Panther platform has to offer. We all know none of these cars are fast. But technically, this is the fastest version you can get. With its police suspension and LX Sport trans and gearing, this is the best performing Panther car you can get. And without having some kind of over-the-top custom-made front bumper, with the rear end of the police interceptor and the front end inspired by the Terminator Cobra, the Mercury Marauder is the best-looking Panther car. If you ask me... Taking all these things into account, is the Mercury Marauder worth $20,000? No, absolutely not. Anyone who's ever tried to actually buy one of these before, you know those four valve double overhead cam engines are plagued with problems. That extra 50 horsepower and 0.5 seconds faster to 60 over a regular P71 does not justify a $20,000 price tag. A good middle ground price that these cars should be at is no more 
than $10,000. With that being said though, do I think this car is a future classic? I certainly do. Regardless, if you are considering or you've considered buying one, that window of affordability is getting smaller and smaller with each month that passes, with each year that passes. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think the Mercury Marauder is worthy of the title Future Classic? Do you think it's worth $20,000? I definitely don't think it's worth 20 grand. Maybe 10, maybe 65 for like a used, you know, nicely used one, but, but just not $20,000. Either way, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's have a little debate. Let's have a little discussion. Is it overrated? I mean, it's just 0.5 seconds faster than a stock Crown Vic to 60. This one's even faster than a regular Marauder with just a can shifter. That one's got a Marty tune on it. It performs almost just as well as a Marauder would. But let me know. Comment section down below. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Either way, it's your boy, Mr. Random. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.